Now, um, as you may know, um, the thing with uh, this program is it's actually a pretty good program, but um, one weird thing though is um, if I were to, let's say, record, and what you do is um, you can do it like this too, uh, just press the record button. Uh, what you do is that you press the record button, then you just press, press the play button, and when you're done, then you just press the record button again, and then it has recorded it. But one flaw or one weird thing is that even even if, let's say, you have a subtitle, you pick a subtitle and you record it from the beginning, what is strange is that it won't record a subtitle, but if you were to, let's say, um, let's just, uh, I'm just going to mute the video so I don't get copyrighted. Uh, I'm just going to take one clip for one example. Uh, let's see here. I'm just going to take this part for example. Um, what, what um, I'm just going to play a little bit. Okay, now, here you have the subtitle. What the trigger is, you have to record it while it's on the subtitle, and then it will record the subtitle. I'm just going to prove it here a little bit. All right, that's enough, I think. Then I'm going to click it again, and then I'm going to go to the folder. And now, let's see here. Let's see, I'm just going to click it again. Alright, and there's the recording. Let's see, alright, here we go. So you see, you have the subtitle. Now, here's the trick you have to do. What I do is, um, I basically, like, first I record the first part, you know, even with the subtitle, it won't record it, but what I do is I record the intro part of the movie, and then I record the second part uh, when the subtitles show up. Then I just, uh, I click stop when the dialogue is over, and then I just, um, I just start to record a new one where the subtitles show up in a sense. Uh, this is good if you want to, if you have lots of DVD movies and you want to store it on the hard drive and just have it digital, then this is one way to do it. Uh, and, and, and I know there's a lot of people who probably prefer um, having it, um, having it, you know, in a physical condition, uh, you know, when you, whether you like watching TV or DVD movies and such. And you just want to keep it on a on a nice external hard drive and just have it collected there. I think it's kind of handy for people. I think. I mean, with classic good moves and such. Um, and by the way, if you wonder if um, if the movie gets muted if you turn down the volume, uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, it 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 still keeps the track, the audio track. All uh, all it does is just keep. If you want to do other stuff while it records, then you can do that. Uh, and uh, you won't have the audio uh, bar, um, uh, play over when you do other stuff in a sense. So it will record normally that way. So you won't have to worry about that. But uh, but let me know how it works out for you. And I hope it helped this video. And um, I hope I could explain it as much as possible. And uh, thank you for watching. And thank you. Bye.